Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentucky in here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Today we're doing a little something different. Not really a review, but there's a couple of different versions of one of my favorite films of all time out in 4K. I'm getting questions behind the scenes. Which one should I get out of these two? You would know better than anyone what version is the best now I don't know if I'm gonna have an answer for you guys for this but I want to do some comparisons with the artwork the special features what all is included in each package and we're gonna talk about them boys because we have the vinegar syndrome release of madman that came out a couple of years ago at this point and we have the brand new 4k of madman from arrow video that recently came out, I think in June. Being the madman aficionado that I am, I had to pick up, of course, this one I've had for a couple of years and had to pick up the other version too. I have all these, ver like every home video release of this thing since the VHS tape. And I'm just a collector when it comes to this movie right here. So we're gonna get into it guys, the packaging, the menu screens even, maybe talk about that. And yeah, top to bottom, let you guys know which release of Madman is the one that is worth picking up overall in my opinion. Is there a clear cut winner with this? Stay tuned and find out. So originally, Vinegar Syndrome released this Madman 4K February of 2022, there is a stream that we did live, and we were totally shocked, surprised. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy shit, Madman, Madman, Madman on 4K. And to make things even more insane, Dead Pit is featured on actually both of these releases. Some of the interviews that we had done over the years with Madman himself, Paul Ehlers, and Gary Sales, the producer, is included on it. And a lot of people may not realize that we were uncredited producers on The Legend Lives, 30 Years of Madman, are included, both of us, both me and Uncle Bill, are included in that documentary. So this release here had a lot to live up to, and dude, like... I love, and people, I know some people that have still not picked the 4K up, still holding on to the, the Blu-ray edition from Vinegar Syndrome. This, four, this is what 4K is all about, guys. The transfer on this thing is fantastic. Very much like having a 35 millimeter film print at your disposal at home if you've got a big TV. Dude, I just love the transfer on this thing. There's lots, of, there's a thick layer of grain which I for one love, and the movie has never looked better. Loaded up with special features on this thing. I think pretty much all these, aside from one interview with Galen Ross, is legacy special features. So stuff that had been on releases in the past, whether it be Code Red, whether it be the Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray, um, all that is included in this edition. Now we're gonna go through these things and be fair, to both this is the first release here first things first we're going to go on the inside okay so this artwork right here is from tom hodge the dude designs who no longer works with vinegar syndrome i don't think i think i'd heard him talk about it that uh, he's no longer doing artwork for them which sucks but yeah i love the artwork on this one too it's got that spot gloss finish on it you also have this same artwork here on the inside too. And on the flip side, of course, is the classic artwork, which I've got to go with on the flip side, man. And inside you have a 4K UHD and a Blu-ray. Now, it's very important to let you guys know that all of the special features on this edition is on the Blu-ray. So this is two discs. The movie is the only thing that's on the 4K disc. So if that makes a difference for some people, some people like that, some people don't. You gotta watch special features and put another fucking disc in, man. Really quickly, we're even gonna go through 
the menu screen. Now the menu screen on the Vader Syndrome one is real basic. It's basically the Madman logo with the Legend Lives song playing and that's what you get. So basic release there. Now no special booklet or anything like that included in the beginning in the vinegar syndrome edition overall though lots of special features the transfer on this thing is fantastic an amazing 4k this thing has been on sale for 20 bucks a few times on the vinegar syndrome sales over the last couple of years this one is a high recommendation for me moving on to the brand new release which is this new arrow 4k that is an exclusive for Arrow UK, although this will play on US players. There is no region lock on 4K, and hey, if you would rather have this version, many sites you can order it from. Atomic Movie Store was where I picked mine up. Very affordable on there too. So first thing we're gonna talk about with the Arrow version is this artwork, man. Now there's some foil inlay and the artwork there now they did use this same artwork for the blu-ray edition which i have back there for the first time they are offering the slip cover so i really dig this artwork i'm not sure which one i like more but i dig this artwork and you got the same artwork on this side as well and very much like the Vinegar Syndrome one, flip art where you can use the original classic, that's classic slasher art, guys. Come on. The transfer on this thing is exactly the same as the Vinegar Syndrome one. It even mentions it uh, in inside in the booklet. There's a booklet. I think the only special feature that's different on this one is an introduction by Paul Ehlers and Gary Sales. All of the special features are exactly the same in this. So, at the end of the day, it's apples and oranges. Which one you just rather? Which one tickles your fancy the most? Get into it. The menu screen, in my opinion, the Arrow version is a lot cooler. Actually has scenes from the movie play out on the menu screen. And I just like the design of it a lot more. Arrow does a fantastic job with all their stuff too. Another thing that I really dug about this edition is it's all on one 4K UHD. I really am annoyed, and I may just be a lazy ass, but if I'm watching a movie, I want to maybe watch a special feature or two directly after it. And you couldn't do that on the Vinegar Syndrome one. You have to pop in another disc. You don't have to fool with that on the Arrow Video version. And one of the big bonuses here for this is you've got booklets and some extra bonus material, baby. They're trying to sell Lover's Lane. I don't think that one did that great, but that's a pretty decent post screen slasher movie. And this isn't a gigantic booklet, but still pretty cool. Got photos from the movie. A little telling tales of Mad Men by James Oliver in here. The cast and crew. Uh, just a little, little tiny read about one of everyone's favorite slasher movies. Should be at least. Great photo there. So yeah, I mean, it's all in the details, guys. And at the end of the day, both of these releases, in my opinion, are fantastic. It really just depends on what you like the most. Now, just barely, by half of an inch, if you don't own either one and you're just wanting to get one of them, in my opinion, it's the Arrow one. The Arrow one is just slightly better than that Vinegar Syndrome release. I like the artwork, I think just a little bit better. That foil embossed logo thing, real it's really striking. And one disc, you don't have to fool with fooling around with like, you know, another Blu-ray or anything. Booklet 
has all the special features, including the stuff with us on it, right? Now, one one big thing though, they do not mention Dead Pit on the back cover of the Arrow one, but they do on the Vinegar Syndrome one. So I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth maybe a little bit. But at the end of the day, being completely fair, both of these releases are amazing. It really just depends on personal preference, what you like. Some people want all of the space for the four cages for the movie. Madman on Vinegar Syndrome's got that. Some people may like the Arrow artwork better. Some people may like the Vinegar Syndrome art better. Both of these are fantastic releases. I am happy that Madman, in my opinion, one of the best, most underrated slasher movies of all time. It is... I can't believe there's an argument for which slasher movie is better, The Burning or Madman. I have no idea what these people are watching when they say The Burning. The Madman 10 to 1, one of my favorite slasher movies. I'm happy to say that we are friends with Madman, thank God, so he won't chop our heads off or anything. Um, great guy, you know, we've got all kinds of interviews. We actually have a commentary for Madman that we did with Paul Ehlers that's on our YouTube page. So we're gigantic fans of the movie, and both of these are fantastic additions. You can't really go wrong. And I just wanted to do a little video. I saw my buddy CHH did uh, a review of the Arrow one, and people were kind of curious and asked me, hey, there's two different versions of this out. Which one should I pick up? So there you go. There's my answer. Pick up both of them. But if it has to be one, I would slightly recommend the arrow release so that is it guys let me know what you think of this sort of video it was a little bit too long-winded here um, any other releases coming out you want me to do a comparison of let me know but that is it appreciate everybody checking us out check out madman on 4k from vinegar syndrome and or arrow uk and be sure to check us out we're over at deadbit.com Give us the thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. Do I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, I need to do that. No, don't you yeah. do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others. But they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't